What's up everybody, OCD Farming here today and welcome back to Hickory Valley for an updated map Turski and this is going to be my multiplayer multiplayer series uh, so yeah um, I will probably make a list of all the mods and put it in the description but that may take me a day or two because yeah uh, there aren't that many mods uh, because the update for this map has gotten a, a bunch of sheds so I didn't really have to add much sheds and buildings and whatnot so I mean I've gotten rid of a few mods so yeah it's a little less than last time but we also did add a few more um, but yeah that being said uh, yeah so this is the PDA now it is very different uh, very different uh, we still got two massive fields up here in the north and four decently sized fields uh, down here uh, we now have six kind of weird fields here I'm gonna combine them all because it's basically one field just with six different crops on it um, but yeah so and then we got a bunch of grass and whatnot here and this is actually part of the animal pens as well so this isn't all grass <laughs> uh, and we now have forestry too as well so we do have a, a fair bit of forestry I will say so I might actually get involved with that and we got a few things up here we got a bunch of cell points um, we have a train that goes around the entire border of the map which is also very dope because we do have train cell points now yeah buddy I just sold some beets by train so yeah I did all the harvesting, uh, so the harvesting is done. Uh, we do only own, we own everything except for the forestry and field two. And forestry, I am literally just about to buy. Yep, I'm gonna buy that right now. Uh, so we have now, we now have $17,000, so we're definitely gonna need to do some forestry. Uh, we also, um, we, uh, we got a bunch of new crop types. I'll go through that in, in a minute um, But we can also uh, We had a canola field here and a soybean field here and we were able to make Canola we were able to lay down some canola straw and some soybean straw and some corn straw I forgot yeah that too. So yeah, pretty dope. I must say I'll, sh I'll show you that after but uh yeah, I'll uh, go through the update. Uh, it was a very big one. The map is now 301 megabytes to download. It is by poor boy. Um, so yeah, here is the new uh, changelog 2.0. Welcome to the new Hickory Valley. Here you will find a newly redone landscape. Two new crops have been incorporated, alfalfa and black bean. 12 new fill types. This includes soybean straw, compost, and 10 other materials. New productions include steel, asphalt, stone crusher, plus a few others. Trains, train runs the outer part of the map, fully usable. BGA has a loading only trigger for train. Also, train has a cell point, or sell all point, and bales sell at animal dealer. That's pretty dope. I didn't know you could sell bales by the train. That's gonna be dope. Uh, field seven removed. Field one size reduced. Pig, cow, sheep pens ed edited for map and cover a lot of ground and a capacity of 1,000. So we can have 1,000 pig, cow, and sheep. <laughs> Jesus. Um, chickens free roam uh, farm area and hold 500 horse pen edited edited for map and holds 100 100 horses jeez I will never need that um, what else? soybean new texture and grows in rows which is really dope I like that corn potato and sugar beets also uh, new textures from Taylor farms new sheds and new bale wrap also from Taylor farms added ability to make straw from corn sunflowers and canola and and soybeans uh, pedestrians removed traffic reworked and placeable sawmill added so yeah they went all out for this update and I freaking pray to God that this is the last um, but this one is 
the definitely the best by far. Uh, like no comparison to the other ones. They were just too too boring compared to this one. This one's got everything you need. It's 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 pretty pretty stacked. Um, but yeah, so uh, our main farm is kind of like right dead smack in the middle here um, in the south. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, get to showing you. We'll just walk right down the road. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is the massive horse pasture. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. I don't think we're gonna ever fill it up. There's probably only gonna be like five, ten horses here just kind of getting lost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's the horse pasture right there. Uh, we added a riding arena right dead smack beside it. So we don't have to go very far to train them, which is nice. Uh, right here is the pig, uh, the pig pen, uh, and we added a maneuver bunker and a slurry tank there. Uh, we got some bale sheds, and these are the new sheds that are part of the map. So yeah, this this isn't a mod; you won't need to download these. Very nice sheds, though. I like the red and white. So yeah, big, massive. Like you can't even see the, the the other side of the fence. A thousand pigs can go in there. <laughs> I think you could fit a little more than that there, but uh, but yeah. Anyways, we got a big open garage. Uh, this is a fairly new mod. I uh, really like this garage. Very nice. It's pretty expensive. It's like three hundred thousand dollars, but really nice. I like the uh, open canopy thing there. Whatever the hell it's called. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we got a weeder in the shed. We got the 4940 spreaders, one, two. And then we got the sprayers, three and four. And then we got uh, Demco uh, 22 series auger wagons, but these are not just base game ones. These are actually edited for, for the map. So you can only use this for the map. And you can have it holding 70, 77,000 liters or 500,000 liters. <laughs> Holy Jesus, 500k, very unrealistic. Yeah, you think? And then you can also hold hold 250k, which, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I might do that, but right now we just have the standards. Um, so yeah, and you can customize all the color schemes, all what you want and whatnot, so. Pretty cool. I like that. I like those. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, do, 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 do. We got a vehicle workshop trigger right there, and a uh, underground liquid storage. Uh, we got a hayloft silo there. Uh, we got a base game six million liter silo for the main grain stuff there, and we got a multi fruit fill trigger there. A fertilizer herbicide tank storage there and a pressure washer over there uh, we also got some bees uh, I think yeah I place these so we got six beehives and beehive rack or the honey rack and then this is our cow pasture massive uh, so yeah we also added a maneuver bunker there and slurry tank is somewhere so yeah, look at how massive this is. Freaking ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. I love it. <laughs> it's freaking nuts. Uh, but yeah, so. And we added a milk extension there. And where the hell? There's the slurry tank. Right there. Yeah. Oh, now I'm going to have to go all the way back. I'm just going to jump to the sheep. The sheep pen. So yeah, this is the sheep pen. And again, this holds a thousand freaking sheep. Freaking massive! <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I like. I've been waiting for like massive animal pens for this game, and like, yeah, you need this map now in order to do that. <laughs> God, these things are freaking huge. Um, but yeah, we got another uh, drive-through shed here that is part of the map, uh, and we got the Colossus corn headers in here so we got John Deere colors uh, for me and then uh, case or Massey colors for uh, whoever wants to play 
Uh, and then we got this is my gooseneck here, the green one. So yeah, my stuff's green, yours is red. You bastard. I like red. <laughs> Oh yeah, we do have a underground uh, multi-fruit uh, silo there. I like these sheds too. You can just go in here. I didn't even have to open that other door. I could have just went through here. But yeah, we got uh, draper headers here as well. We got the red one and the green one there. And uh, your gooseneck. So yeah, that is that. Uh, where the hell is the chicken coop? I haven't even... Yeah, where's the chicken coop? What do you mean they free roam around the frickin... Did I get rid of it? I think I got rid of it. God damn it. I wonder if I could place it. Chickens. Hicker Valley. Here we go. Yeah, what the hell? Where is this? No, there's, there's got to be somewhere on the map. It says free roam around the, the farm, though. Yeah, this is shed house. That's freaking weird. Huh. Is it, like, over here? Nope. Well, I guess we have to place one if we even have money for it. Oh, thank God. It's only six grand. All right. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know where they free roam around. I don't want to get in their way too much. So I'm going to have it back here around. Oh, no. This is the loading zone. <laughs> All right. We'll have it like. Yeah. I don't know where to put these damn chickens. <laughs> All right, we can just kind of have them chilling here, I think. No, because I go down through there. Uh, yeah, we'll have no uh, go over there too. <laughs> All right, we'll have it over here, and hopefully they don't get in the way too much. All right, hopefully they just free roam around that area too. That would be nice. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna make a quick little road here. If I even can. Uh, that's the wrong asphalt. There we go. Gravel. Can I go over there now? God damn it. There we go. Alright. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And then I'll make a little road here. There we go. Alright. And see if we can add some grass. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't, it's just how it goes. And we'll add some animal mud for the boofy trough. And a little splatter for the eggs that drop. Alright, so yeah, that is uh, the chicken coop. <laughs> Alright, alright, where were we now? This is a horrible map tour. This is probably one of my worst ones, but whatever. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, we got a limestone production factory right there. Over right there in front of me. Yeah, that's that. Uh, we got another drive through shed here with our, our Mack trucks. Yeah, buddy. Base game ones. And we got a Flegel loader there. Uh, we got a... Oh, yeah. So anything white is universal, so both of us can use. Uh, but, yeah, and then we got the Wilson uh, animal transport trailer. I think that's part of the chicken animal transport trailer mod that I use. So, yeah. Uh, and then we got another Flegel low loader over there in green. Um, we also got a water tank right there. It's out of milk extension. And we got two bunker silos over here as well. So yeah, that is that. Uh, we got another nice shed here. This is more of like a garage. And it's even got an upstairs. Really nice little racking storage, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, well, I guess I need to get out. So, yeah, this is also a repair trigger, so we can repair stuff here. Um, but yeah, in here we have a New Holland skid steer with a pallet fork, and it's in white, so both of us can use it. And so is the JCB Load All Agri Pro telehandler. And we got the JCB bucket. And we also got the TLX Phoenix Winter Wolf with the tanker. So yeah, this whole shed we can both use. So that is that. Open. In this shed we got our John Deere 9RXs. Uh, these are mod, modded ones. Uh, we got this, these bad boys, this, these just came out, like, last week, and these are my new favorite small track, two-wheel drive type tractors now. Oh my god, so nice. So yeah, Massey 3690s with two-wheel drive, built-in weights, 190 horsepower, so it's kind of like a medium tractor. So I like that. And you can have no gains, so yeah, buddy. Uh, we also got Sadie the Cleaning Lady, and that is in white, so it's universal. And then we got a red and green. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Like, if you need to use this, then go for it. If I need to use that, then I'll go for it, but yeah. So we got the Ferrison Mixer, and then we got the, um, uh, this is the Lizard Tardis, uh, trailer, and this will hold 150,000 liters. So yeah, pretty good. Alright, so that is that. Uh, we got a horse buggy gooseneck trailer there. Why are my tires tracks on like oh I guess I I guess I hit the freaking thing. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we got our Phoenix Winter Wolves all dirtied up with the dumpers. Yeah, buddy. Um yeah, we got one in red, one in green. And then we got our Lizard Colossuses. And one in red and one in green. And I filled them up, so don't worry. And they're not fully repaired, but pretty much, so. Yeah, yeah. So that is that. We got the Shed Hoose. Shed Hoose. And we got the TLX 2022s, one in green, one in red. And we got the Lizard F100s, or is it F100? I think that's what it's called. Uh, one in green and one in red. And we also got the Rumbler van that will hold wool pallets. And that's the diesel one. It goes a lot faster than the freaking electric one. Uh, but in this shed, we got our case 400 magnums. Uh, we got one here with uh, dual narrows, and then we got two with wide Nokians. So that's that. So yeah, one of those is mine, and one of those is yours, and then the ones with narrows we can both use. Um, but yeah, we got the auto manager pallet 
thing for uh, honey and eggs and wool. I believe you can put it in there too. Got another garage shed here with uh, JCB, what is this? TM420 series and telehandler with a bale spike. JCB bale spike. And then we got a case wheel loader, two of them, 821Gs with the Brussels and Laid buckets. And yeah, one in green, one in red. And I've already used mine, as you can tell. And that was for the beats, because I had to load them in the train somehow and I didn't want to use a freaking belt. I hate using the belts. But yeah, and then their chicken coop is here. Their new chicken, okay, I just want to see where they kind of, like, where do I, can I, can I buy them? Like, how do I buy them? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna buy one. Just wanna see where he goes. Where are ya? Where the hell did you go? Oh my god, I lost the chicken. <laughs> where the hell is that chicken? Oh! I hear, I hear it. Do you hear that? Where, oh! Where are you, little chicken? I'm scared. This, these freaking chickens are gonna get in my way. They're gonna come out of nowhere. Huh. I don't know where it went. It's gone. Chicken freaking disappeared. Um, yeah, we got one chicken somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so yeah, I think that's everything to show you at the main farm. Uh, we can rent the train here as well, and it will drive over to here, which is pretty nice. I like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also own the Rogue River Biofuels, um, and we at, uh, gave all of our potatoes that we harvested, which was 60,934 liters. And we're, we can make methane, digestate, diesel, and diesel exhaust fluid. And I think we can make kerosene as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just, just check. Yeah, this is, we can make kerosene, but we just haven't made any yet. I think. Huh, maybe not. Maybe that's just something else. How do you get kerosene? Oh, crude oil. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna make uh, methane digested diesel, diesel exhaust fluid. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, pretty dope. I like producing my own stuff. Oh yeah, there's the train too. Pretty nice. So, main grain, beets, uh, something else, logs, bales, and then we got a liquid tanker. Yeah! Freaking dope. Love that. Gotta have a liquid tanker on your train. It's freaking sick. Alright, so yeah, that is that. Everything at the main farm. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, just show you everything kind of else. Uh, so we got crude oil production, and that is over here. Now, I think we can sell it by train? I think? I... Who knows if I know? Um, but yeah, if not, we're gonna have to be driving on grass just to get here. So yeah, any train. Hello. But yeah, this is uh, crude oil production right here. Uh, got the animal dealer up here. Nice. And then we got a bale cell point there. Oh, look at all the freaking collectibles. Ooh. I'll have to come back for that. Um, anything over here? Yeah, supermarket. Alright, so back. Cool. Bigger driveway though, God, it's freaking narrow. Alright, so that is that. Uh, nothing else.
what's up there? Uh, we got a restaurant, and apparently I own all of these. So that's that's dope. So yeah. That's the horse pasture, and then we got the bakery. Again, I own it. So we can make bread and whatnot. We got the spinnery. And then we got dairy production. And then we got the shop over here. And the shop is just that, that, uh, that cool shed that I have using. Uh, we also got a water tank here, I think it is. Uh, the repair triggers are here for it. Go inside there, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can also rent the train over here. Right there. And we got a multi-production uh, uh, fill point fill trigger so this is where we buy like asphalt and all that stuff so yeah pretty dope um, go down here uh, fast food restaurant so, got all the productions we need it's good. pizzeria the Chow Bella. Yeah, that's that. Uh, we got the biomass heating plant. And this is where all the forestry is. So this is what we're going to be doing soon. I don't even know if I have enough to lease a frickin'... Do I? I don't have enough money to lease it. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we might need to take out a loan. Oh dear. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we got a gas station right here. And a farmer's market right there behind it. So yeah, that is that. And then we'll go up here. Got a grain mill. Oil mill. Oh, cereal factory. Oopsie poopsie. That's the oil mill. Yep. And then we got asphalt production. Piney Run Asphalt Co. Cool. Good thing I have Piney Run too. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like my maps intertwine with each other now. Um, we got steel production. Is that what that is? Yeah, steel factory. That's pretty dope. I like that. It even says Hickory Valley Steel. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, we don't own it though. That's unfortunate. We do own the oil mill, cereal factory, grain mill, and yeah. Uh, we got a transfer silo over there. I'll check that out later. Uh, what's this here? Stone Crusher. Alright. Stone Crusher. Uh, what does... Oh, I can't even see what it does. We gotta buy it. Um, yeah, so that's over there. And then this is a sugar beet piler. Um, no idea what that does. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But apparently it puts sugar beets in a pile, which is over here. Pile of beets. What is this? What does it do? <laughs> I'm very intrigued. I kind of want to, I kind of want to, I kind of want to investigate that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we can also rent the train right here. And we also have a cell point here. This is the Hickory Valley cell all. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I believe.
Apparently this is the Hickory Valley cell all number two cell point right there and then back here we got a train cell point right there and we got a transfer silo over there so if we need to take from the train put it in the silo and put it in a truck we can do that here so that's pretty dope I like that I really like that and you can always add one of these as well but the thing is with this map I can't get over to the train tracks as you can see I can't for the life of me get over there <laughs> so yeah I mean it's cool but you need to make it so it's more so I can get to it to the train tracks with it <laughs> but yeah um, so yeah that's that I think it holds it should hold everything if not probably just main grain stuff who knows I don't know figure that out though later uh, wait, this is our sawmill uh, it's also just a base game shed and we do oh god I went through the wrong door <laughs> Uh, we do have a couple things in here. So we got a uh, what was this? The Lizard Logo 21 log trailer, and we got a base game John Deere uh, 6R with a front loader grabber, and we got a Unreal Capacity wood chipper on lease. That is on lease. So yeah, um, yeah. That that is. Uh, it's pretty cool though, I like that song though. Pretty nice. And we do own it, I think. Yes, we do, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I think the materials come over there. Uh, somewhere. They, they pop up somewhere. Uh, yeah, and then we got another multi uh, production fill trigger there. And. Uh, what else was I gonna... Isn't there something else? Oh yeah, that... The, we already, okay, we already did that. Alright, so yeah, that is uh, everything to show you. So, um... Yeah, we are gonna definitely have to make some money somehow. Um, I do have a crap load of straw. Uh, so I think we'll just... We'll get our money that way. We get we dot we 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 dot we did uh, soybeans in this field yeah this field here so this is soybean straw right here I'm gonna keep that uh, this is just wheat here so we'll sell all that sh that stuff uh, the corn straw I also want to keep so we're gonna keep that as well and then we got a field of canola straw which I'm gonna keep a little bit of but we don't need all this this whole field that's a lot of straw um, so yeah we'll sell all pretty much all of that and base and we're gonna sell all, all of this uh, I might keep like a little bit just to have some normal straw just in case some animals don't take it for some reason uh, but I have a feeling that the corn and soybean straw might be able to to give to the to the pigs because they eat corn and soybean but I who knows but yeah these are these six little fields so there's beets right here uh, this was cultivated there was potatoes here soybeans here and then wheat and corn there so I mean I'm just gonna make this all in one field once I get all the straw removed um, but yeah so that's that and uh, we'll give you a little fly over here too show you the main farm area it looks really nice I must say it's very nice map I like the sheds they added I like the animal pens they added like look at how freaking massive this is massive all the way to here 
this is going to be cows. And then it stops here. And then this will be pigs. <laughs> this is freaking huge. And then the horse one. Like, look how long this is. Freaking ridiculous. Like, they're going to get tired just trying to get one end for one end to the other. And then this is the sheeps. Sheep pen. Freaking huge. This one is massive. Like, this one's just freaking ridiculous. It's long and wide. Like, <laughs> that takes up so much. And then we still got a lot of grass here. So, I mean, we can make a field right here, too. So, yeah. Decent amount of grass here. So, I could always mow it. I think I will. I think we'll make a road right here eventually to that field. But yeah, I can't even make a road over here. I tried to make a road to this, and this is as far as I can go, apparently. I can't go any farther than here. So, that's pretty unfortunate, but maybe they'll update it so I can. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that is going to do it for today's map, Tourski. It was a long one. Um, but yeah, so, uh, tune in next episode where we will be, um, back probably at No Man's Land for episode two, and then Silver Run Forest for episode two. Uh, I still need to set up my solo series for Hickory Valley here, so it'll probably be a few days for that, because that's gonna take a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, got a lot on the go right now, but... All our maps are looking really nice, I must say. So yeah, that is going to do it though for today. So till next time, OCD Farm and signing out. Peace!